Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, Tim Man here. Now recently I got myself a load of horror goodies. And there's a big pile, of, oh, there's a big pile, there's a decent pile here. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to share it with you guys so you get to see think how good these items are. So, first up, what horror item have we got? The Evil Dead 2 tin, special edition tin. Been on my watch list for literally years. It was on my Amazon wish list, I think, for the past 10 years, maybe, <laughs> maybe more. I just never really pulled the trigger. I don't know why, I just never, you know, never really go on Amazon. So anyway, Evil Dead Rise had just come out, and I was like, oh my god, the lore of Evil Dead and the, you know, the whole thing, if you've seen it, Rise, you know, with the records and the and the history and stuff like that. It was like, oh my god, the Necronomicon, the book. Ooh, it excited me. So I was like, go out and find some more <laughs> Evil Dead stuff. This is what they do. They make a new film to make you go and buy more old stuff. And I've got tons of Evil Dead here, but I was like, I haven't got the tin. So I decided to go for it and do you know what? I was so surprised. It's massive. I didn't realise how big this was. And of course, it's the Graham Humphreys artwork. Graham Humphreys. Legend. So, last weekend at Horicon, if you check back to our video, a few videos back, we went to Horicon. Graham Humphreys was there. I bought a poster and I got and he signed it as well. You'll see that in a minute. But that's one of Graham Humphreys' beautiful pieces of artwork that I absolutely love. So, Evil Dead 2. It, it, it's ace. It's Anchor Bay, and that's why it's so cool, because Anchor Bay are amazing. I will do an Anchor Bay special. I don't have all Anchor Bay releases. I have a few. There's, there's a lot. There is a lot. Anchor Bay, you know, the horror section. I will do an Anchor Bay video at some point. But I love that the fact that it has, you know, all the Graham Humphreys artwork on the, on the, on the spines, if you know what I mean, if you kind of get what I mean. And f considering how old it is, what was this, 97? No, sorry, 87, I should have my glasses on. I don't know when they made this tin. Uh, 87 was the film, wasn't it? It doesn't say on here. It might say. Does it say on the back? Ah, it doesn't matter. Anyway, it's in really, really great condition. So on the back, limited edition, widescreen presentation. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Audio commentary with Sam Raimi, Bruce Campbell, all the usual stuff. Featuring Gore the Merry, a theatrical trailer. Evil Dead Hail, Hail to the Gang, video game, bling, blah, 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 blah. Only 500,000 copies available. I have 44047 of 500,000. Still cool? You know, this, that, you, it says limited. When you think about that amount, is that really limited when you think about it? But I suppose think about the amount of people on Earth and they're in horror. Maybe. Anyway, doesn't matter. So, let's open it up, let's have a look. He got this off eBay, some seller, and he's, he had proper, like, took good care of it, didn't he? So, I was well surprised. It comes with this awesome Evil Dead 2 book, and it's dead thick. I couldn't believe it. And it's got, obviously, Graham Humphrey's artwork. So, what you have is everything about the film. So good. You've got pictures about the book. Love it. Love it. I'm not going to go through every page, but you've got bringing out the special effects you know there's a, still pictures here a little bit of gump there it's just well done about annie about ash you know a bit more there it's so well done i'm not going to go through every single page but it's very very smart it's quite uh quite, do you know what i'm going to sit down and read the henrietta classic who's in my fruit cellar i'm going to go go through and i'm going to have a proper look at it oh look at that that image so good so good it should be the tagline of this video so good yeah the seller brilliant drop the oldsmobile yeah and on the back classic poster image from two with liam's favorite quote groovy <laughs> groovy he hates it <laughs> so yeah you get that awesome book what else do you get I'll get this bloody stuff out now <laughs> a little advert for the game for the playstation one <laughs> Amazing. Evil Dead, Hail to the King. I don't think I've played that one. I've played the one on the original Xbox. What was that one? Fistful of Boomstick? I've got that game. That's a good game. Got fucking hard, though. Couldn't get towards, towards the end. It was bloody hell. Well, this is solid. Anyway, advert for the game, which I've never got. But being a, an old retro gamer, I will get it one day. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Okay. Oh, look at that. It's like a mini poster. The mini poster, isn't it? It's so, so good. But it's actually just your scene selection of your dvd but it is in fact 
the actual poster. So if you were that nerdy, you could frame that. That could go on the wall, you know what I mean? If you had a space, oh, that would look good then, a little frame. Don't tempt me, Tim, man. Don't tempt me. And so then, obviously, you get the film in a CD case. So, and he's even, he's even, the seller's even put some, like, bubble wrap in the disc. He's a, he's a good seller, fair play. Gave him good feedback. Yeah, just a basic film, you know. Pretty good. Pretty good. I love these uh, tins Anchor Bay were doing. I know they did they did Hellraiser 1 and 2. You get it together. There's, uh, is it Misery? There's a Misery tin as well. There was, um, there's quite a few. I'd, I've been looking into getting the rest because, you know, what I'm like. Once you start, <laughs> I was like, no, sorry, Pringles. Once you start, you can't stop. And this is like a, such a cool item to have. How cool is that? It's really good. And it's overly, it's massive. Look at it next to the other DVDs. You can't, literally, you cannot put it um, in your collection. You have to have it separate. So, what I have done is I've removed Sergeant D from the Stormtroopers of Death. Sorry, Sarge. And it's going to live next to Ash. Right there. You can go over there, Sarge. So, yeah, that was... I was made up with that. So, because I was on an Evil Dead kick, it seemed only logical to get the actual DVD of the 2013, I wouldn't say a reboot, I'd just say it's a, an added sequel. I might be, you know, call me wrong. But I got the slipcover version of two disc of Evil Dead 2013. I had it on, I've got it on Blu-ray as well, but because I've got a lot of Evil Dead on DVD, um, and that's the only uh, Blu-ray of Evil Dead I've got actually, is uh, this one. I don't own the others. All the other ones that are here are all DVD. So I had to get a DVD for the collection, being a horror DVD guy. So the only difference with this two disca is it has interviews with director Freddy Alvarez, an interview with Jane Levy, Q and A at the Ritzy Cinema, and the trailer. Nothing overly major, but but you know you know what I'm like. Slipcase DVD. It's got to get got, isn't it? You know. And to be fair, considering it's eBay, both discs and they're both. In great condition. Happy, happy days. So that's that. Put you there. Next item I got. Tales from the Dark Side on DVD. Do you remember this film? I haven't seen it for literally years. It's been years, but I remember. It's the anthology. You know, I love horror anthologies. Halloween 3. Other ones. <laughs> I can't think of the top of my head. So I saw this at Horicon in a stall, this guy had it in a stall, and everyone's looking at all these expensive Blu-rays and 4Ks, and I'm just going, what are these DVDs? Oh, go on then. I'm probably the only one going, ooh. So I found this on his on his desk, had it on his desk, like five DVDs, and this was one of them. I was like, tell us from the dark side, and it was a fiver. And he went, bargain that for a fiver? And I went, yeah, it is. And he went, make me an offer. I was like, oh, <laughs> I don't do what. Oh, I've never done off like things like this before, like make you an offer. Oh, um, okay then. Um, oh, I don't know what I've got. And he goes, oh, I've got some something in my pocket. And he goes, how much have you got? And I pulled out my pocket and I went, two pound ten. And he went, give me two quid. I went, oh, okay then. Gave him the money. Fucking two quid. Two quid for Tales from the Dark Side. It's been years since I've seen it. Directed by John Harrison. Four classic stories. Deborah Harry, Christian Slater. Great. Great. That's the one I remember the most. The one with the, the, the gargoyle type one with the, the girl, the woman at the end, you know, the whole story. That's the one I remember the most. Can't remember the rest. I'm sure when I put it on, it will all come flooding back. So I got it home. Well impressed. Have a look. Yay! It still even had, <laughs> which I'm quite surprised about. It still even had the uh, prism. Thank you for buying this DVD. If you like future releases, write to us. It's got the name and address and a postage stamp. Bless him. <laughs> so it's just gone now, and things like that are gone. Um, so yeah, I was like, oh, cool, cool. And I went, oh. because it's absolutely scratched to buggery. But I haven't tried it yet because it, honestly, I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to do wiggle it so you can see it in the light. Yeah. Oh my God. Someone's literally gone like that with it <sighs> across the floor and then <sighs> got it back. It's fucking scratched to hell. But I'll try it. And if it doesn't work, two quid. Two quid. Nice looking artwork. Can't go wrong. But yeah, what a movie. What a movie. So that was another thing I got. So uh, while I was at Horicon, obviously you, they walk in, they give you this nice little flyer about what's going on. You know, what's happening in the day. Welcome. 
layout of the stuff, who's going to be on what talk and where you can go meet them, guests, photo ops, blah, 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 blah. But I love it because it's Graham Humphrey's artwork. He does he always does the poster and he does the front. I've got a couple of these now and I've been a few times. So good. The only, diff, the only shame was old Mr. Kane Hodder uh, couldn't make it. He wasn't well. So he didn't, he, he wasn't there. But we, Liam, as you've seen in the in the previous video, met the Cenobites. Uh, we didn't bother seeing uh, Nancy Thompson. Um, Nancy Thompson. <laughs> Nancy Thompson. I am an absolute horror nut, aren't I? Yes, I am. It's not um, Heather Langenkamp. No, it's Nancy Thompson. Heather Langenkamp. Yes, we didn't. I didn't bother. I was going to take my um, Nightmare on Elm Street LP to get her to sign it, but then. Like Liam said to me, he goes, you, you kind of open a can of worms then because you can get that signed, cool, but then you need to get it signed by Robert England. And it's like, ugh. Yeah, do you know what? We won't do it. My car was in the garage. I was waiting for it to be paid, to, to be fixed. And I was like, I can't really spend too much because how much is going to be on my car. It was a fucking lot. I'll tell you that much. So good job I didn't go over, over, oh, overboard is the word. God, I'm prattling on today. Anyway, next item. Now, the best thing about going to Horrorcon was is I was meeting a couple of people who I've been chatting to online for for a couple of years but never actually met in real life. I've even had these people on my Rabid Weasels podcast as guests, but I've never actually met them in the flesh. So it was absolutely amazing to actually meet Jason Miller, the artist, in the face. What a nice, an absolute nice guy. And it's just so funny, so funny. I've got to tell you this story, right? So we're there and we're chatting for ages and he's got his stall out and he's got all his comics and he recently did... Um, a redone cover of Army of Darkness versus Reanimator. That's where you get the blank um, piece of work and then he draws his cover on it. And I, I saw it on his Instagram. I was like, that's so cool because he did Evil Dead Rise, an image from Evil Dead Rise through the keyhole of um, Ellie. I was like, that's so good. So I was there. I was like, there it is. Do you know what? I'm, I'm going to... Mate, I picked it up and I went, I'll have that. And he went, ooh. And he went, that one's 40, mate. <laughs> I was like, oh, and he goes, yeah, it's a one of a kind. I was like, okay, let's put that back. <laughs> I would have had it. I would have bought it if I if my car hadn't been knackered, honestly, because it's such an awesome item to have. So I couldn't just like, I felt bad. I was like, oh, I can't just go. All right, then I won't buy anything. So <laughs> I wanted to buy this anyway. So I bought Death School, his graphic novel. Now, this is his story. I haven't read it yet, but look at his artwork. It's so good. And if you're a fan of Return of the Living Dead, you'll know he did the artwork for the Revenge of the Living Dead comic book, which I've got here somewhere. Um, so, yeah, it's it's amazing. The, this, the attention, attention to detail on this, the, the, the artwork, the style of it, you know, 1981 comics and stuff like that, you know, horror, be kind, rewind, VHS at the top. So good. I'll give you a quick flick through there. Look, look at that. Ah, oh, great artwork. Nice and gory. Let's get to a nice gory one. Oh, a pair of boobs then. Oh, look at that. Pure gore. Great, great. So I'm yet to start that, but that, that, that was, that was an absolute steal. I couldn't believe, I couldn't say no to that. That was so good. So that's Jason Miller's Death School. And he also threw in a little Death School sticker. How cool is that? That's cool. I love that. That'll I'll go, probably go on my uh, little SP box, that will. And... Little, oh, they're like trading cards, aren't they? Such, such good attention to detail. Look at these. Get these out of here. Look at that. Ah, oh, it's every, like all the characters and it's proper glossy, dead smart. You know, all the characters, I can't name who they are because I uh, haven't read the, read the comic book yet, but look at that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. yes, that's what we like. Yeah, these are smart. All with info on the back. Names and stuff like that. Numbered as well. Ah, so good. Good quality, man. Good quality. So, yes. Another great thing about going to Horrorcon was I got to meet Gary Smart. Now, we've been chatting to Gary for a couple of years. He's been on my Rabid Weasels podcast because he's he's a, the biggest Return of Living Dead nut going next to me. But it was nice to actually meet him. And him and Jason, as you can see now, are both absolute giants next to me. I ain't the tallest person in the world. I literally felt like a sandwich. Look at that. That's ridiculous. There you go. But what I did was I took I took my 245 Trioxin book with me. Long out of print. Didn't buy this at the con because people, I posted it on my Instagram um, 
on the SPN screen. I'm like, oh my God, they had the book. I was like, no, 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 this is my book. This is my book. I got this from the horror con a couple of years ago. Back, I got it from Gary. But because now I was meeting him properly and we were chatting and we've been chatting for a while, I was like, do you know what? I'm going to get him to properly sign my book. So I did. I got him to sign my book. So to me, <laughs> you mean the book lied? And he signed it and even dated it. I thought that was, that was really good. So I was chatting to him after he did it and he went, go and see Graham. I was like, what do you mean? Go see Graham Humphreys. He did the cover. He did this artwork at the front. Oh my God, of course. So because of Gary, I didn't even think. I took it to Graham Humphreys and he signed it as well. Got them both to sign it. So there you go. Another another addition to the collection, shall we say. You over there, very safely. So like I said earlier, we were at Horicon and we met Graham Humphreys. And you know what? He's the nicest guy ever. Honestly, so humble, so nice. Chat to you for hours, he would do. I would have chatted to him for hours, except it was busy. Horicon was busy this year, it really was. But I had the opportunity to get a print. Now, I'd already, I've would already, i already got the Graham Humphrey stuff ad ad adorning my nerd loft, as it is anyway. You know, the book, the, the tin, the thing, you know, stuff like that. But I wanted to buy a print myself. So, I ended up getting, of course I did. I haven't framed it yet, but it's, it's flat ready. The Return of the Living Dead print, only 10 quid absolute bargain it's his redone version of the original vhs cover it's so good it's gonna have to go in here somewhere i don't know how i'm gonna figure it all out but that is definitely going on the wall that's such a cool print dead thick card as well 10 quid honestly you can get them on his website for i think for a tenner it's, it's ridiculous it really is they had slightly bigger ones which were 30 and then of course they had the proper ones which were i'm explaining it go check out a horicon video you'll see it but that that is oh, amazing. So I was made up to finally get that print because I've been after that for a long time. And he also handed us this. Nightmare on One Sheet. The Horror Art of Graham Humphreys. A, basically a new book that's coming out. Um, November. Due November. Of all his one sheet posters in a book. How cool would that be? So yeah, definitely look out for that. Definitely check Graham Humphreys out on Instagram. I'll put a link to his page down below. Not like you're not following, following him anyway. But yeah amazing so that's it that's my horror bundle i got recently so i hope you enjoyed all those bits and bobs some absolute gems in there now if you like the horror vinyl playlists let us know and we'll keep doing them we i love doing them they are great fun i love putting the movie behind it it's such good fun yeah let us know if there's any tracks that as long as we've got the vinyl let us know what tracks you want we'll we'll try and do it <laughs> why not definitely so until next time people stay safe stay tuned stay sick tim man out <laughs>